Let's look at setting up the electronic bank statement in this presentation. When you open a new bank account, regardless of whether you're going to do electronic bank statement or not, the first step is to create the GL accounts, that is your general ledger accounts for the bank account. So my main bank account is ANZ Melbourne main bank account. So first you need to create the main bank account, then you create the sub bank accounts. So for example, I might have a GL account called 103100 and I can call it as ANZ Melbourne branch main bank account. Then you need to create the sub accounts. For example, outgoing checks, incoming checks, outgoing EFT, incoming EFT, other receipts, interest received. So like this, you can create many different sub bank accounts. The advantage of creating the sub bank accounts is then you can track how much are your total outgoing checks amount. Similarly, you can see how much you have received as in, um, incoming electronic fund transfer. If you just had one bank account, then it's very difficult to differentiate between the different bank activities. So it's always advisable to have the main bank account and then you can have the sub bank accounts. And then these will automatically clear against each other when you do the relevant postings. So before we go that far ahead, let's just create the main jail accounts. And it's also good to create the bank charges expense account. This can be a common expense account for all the different bank accounts. This can be your bank charges, like for example, for certain transfers, your bank might charge, or for monthly service fee, your bank might charge a small amount. So all those can be clubbed to this GL account, which is an expense account. These are all balance sheet accounts on the asset sides because it's a bank account. So now let's go and start creating these bank accounts. So I go to my create GL account screen, which is FS00 by the transaction code. So I'm going to type in my main bank account number 103000, enter my company codes and 123, and then I'm going to click on this icon. I'm going to specify my account group. Now it's going to be on the asset side. It's a balance sheet account. Here I'm just going to call it ANZ Melbourne Main Bank. And here also I can call the same thing. ANZ May Melbourne Main Bank account. Then I can go to control data. It can be in local currency, not a problem. I can even keep that only local currency also. But I just leave this for blank now. Uh, I don't want to do any open item or line item. I'll probably have line item management, open item management, because I need this bank account to be cleared. So I'll tick those items and put a sort key. And here I'll specify a general field status group G001. And I can just save this. So data is saved, very simple. Now I can go and create the other sub accounts, which is in my screen I just showed you earlier. Now we can go and start creating the other sub accounts. So let me create the first sub account. So I'm going to call it 010, as we just saw earlier. Press this icon again. Or I can even copy with template for what I just created now. So I don't have to fill up all the other details. Enter my company code, which makes it much easier. So I only had to change the description over here. This my outgoing checks, paste it over here and save. So like this, you need to create your all the sub accounts and also you create your bank charges expense account. Let me just show you that also. So I'm just going to create my 507000, which is going to be my expense account. 507000 is going to be my bank charges expense account. So this is an expense penal statement account short text i'm just going to call it bank charges copy this here paste it here so control data let it be local local currency i'll just put line item display sort key 001 create bank interest field status group just put a generic one for now and save the transaction so i have created a now bank charges expense account so you need to create all these accounts, as I mentioned, you need to create these also individually. Then let's do the next setting of setting up the house bank. So I have got my bank details, this is my house bank details. So I have bank name is ANZ Melbourne, this is my bank address, this is my bank main bank account number that's called the BSB number in Australia, which is the bank state and branch numbers. 
uh, or it's also called a bank identifying number. For each bank, there is a unique identifying number. In Australia, it is called a